Jordan Coach is the brand. This is the podcast. Kamal, the secret genius. Remo Rod. Ronnie Jordan. And Tyler Chronicles is with Miss Vicky. Hey, Miss Vicky's with in mom, town. Jeff. Shout out to Tyler and his mom and his nephew kicking it. That's what's and up, his, man. I think his back just went out. He told me his back. Just, oh, shit. Yeah. Probably, mama Sticking. probably I told him, him let your mama do sit on your back, man. You be right. straight. Over there playing with his nephew. Playing ball with your nephew. Come back on out. now. I told his business. I did it. <laughs> Back hey, out. well, let's get straight to it, brother. Straight to it, right? Uh, Ronnie Jordan, do your thing, brother. Hey, man, I brought the diva of the, the family diva. in the house. The she family is diva. The newest one causing trouble on Love & Hip Hop. Come on, oh, Just man. so happened to be my wife's sister. Yes. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Right here. Miss Miss Pooh. 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 Give it up for Miss hey. Pooh. Give it up for Miss Pooh. Give it up for Miss Pooh, guys. Hey. Shout out to Hiram Hicks. That's her husband. Shout out to Hiram. Shout one out of to Hiram. Most powerful execs in the business. Yes. Like people don't know, he found Kelly Price, Drew what? Hill. He was the president of Island Def Jam. Mm. Uh, he fucking uh, beat with... up Cisco. Ah. Oh, <laughs> beat up yes. Paul's he was a rumor that he whooped Cisco. Yeah. Oh, oh, allegedly. Allegedly. allegedly, allegedly. But he's so nice. With, he's so. not no yeah. joke. Oh man. Then I've been at his home a couple times. That's the story. I went my hair on. You've been at his mansion. Yeah, I've been in his time. yeah his estate <laughs> a few times. Had to re- I had to go redo my vision. Vision board with all pictures of her house. But hey, uh, this these is girls this is, coming for me now. I have to, I have hey, to let them know you got to separate me from the rest of y'all. Come on, man. I ain't, I ain't but, like yeah, the rest so, of y'all. So let's get into it. You just did a post and said that you are the only one who's actually in love and in hip hop. Like, Come on. Yes. Yeah, see, the oh, crazy wow. part is, but first I want to say thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. Like, giving me this Come opportunity. On. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it for y'all letting me tell my side of the story and behind the scenes because a lot of stuff get a little misconstrued. Mm, watching yeah. us on TV, especially reality TV, a lot of things are edited and right. cut and making it seem like you're doing things that you're not doing. And this and is raw. Is what it is. This so is this is raw. This is and I'm giving you. y'all raw, unfiltered because of y- I'm here with my brother, my hey, family. Hey, my hey, my hey, hey come on now. Say so, some shit. Blood. Say some. Yes, yes. We got her sister pregnant yes. twice. Yes. Two times. Ronnie calls Williams. <laughs> he watches the show Shooting and he the club calls me up. like, Dude, is this fake? Is this for real? Do I need to pull I up on the set? I want to know who I need to pull up yeah, on, Yeah, he like, do I need we to pull up on back, the though. set? If Ronnie, if Ronnie make the call, we there. Oh, I know. Period. I know. He Period. love you guys. But he be like, is this for real? Does they fucking with my family? Come like, on, do man. I need to pull up? I'm like, no, it's just tea. Just, hey, don't just be fucking out. with the Hickses. Exactly. <laughs> and the people are like, I hate it. It makes me cringe. When I see people like Carly Red, it's like nobody knows who Hiram Hicks. I'm like, yes, they do. Everybody, people, smart know. people, people in the industry know the right people, people who know. cut checks. No. Yeah, people that's, that's right. what they say. People that know. cut checks. And I forgot and those to tell you, he was know. like Diddy's manager a couple years ago. Yeah, right? Right. Not, yes, not even four in the five Ciroc years ago. Like, era, like, yeah, I mean, like recently, Ciroc 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 like, I don't want to say, you know, because if I get to run it. You know, down the deals that he has done. Uh-oh. Yo, all I know is you keep slapping your hand on this table and that rock ain't moving. Like, hold on, he did no, that. Tell y'all this yes. table right now. Yes. I ca- oh, I'm cashing in all my nepotism cards. My nepotism. <laughs> I walk right in their house at a graduation. It wasn't even about me. I said, "Hi, blue." <laughs> What's up, bro? What's he's up, like, man? He said, like, I got you. Don't need a trip. I was like, hey, that's all he had to say that one time. So, hey, so, you, so you said they best. used to come to the concerts front row. Yeah, was, so like, when I would host, like, like when I, so around 2012, 13, I was on the radio. I was on a uh, Ryan Cameron show. And, uh, like, Ryan booked a lot of the concerts. When Wolf Creek first started popping in Atlanta, people know about Shout Wolf Creek. Shout out to Ryan Cameron. Southside, it's a, it's a concert venue. But, like, it first started popping with these $20 concerts. These two guys that went to West Georgia throws. And okay. they, they booked me at a couple of them. And I was getting, like, a steady. Atlanta people yes. was rocking with me. They was like, yes. dog, if you ain't hosting it, I don't want to be there. Yeah. I, was, I hosted, like, Ronnie was at all the concerts. I, I was hosting you every single Ronnie concert. Jordan. And I was doing stuff like suggesting who they should bring. Like, they was doing, like, a Best ATL show. I was like, bro, how you going to do a Best ATL show? You don't bring nobody? Pastor Troy. Mm. And they was like, oh, you know, they was thinking. They was on a fence about it. They booked right. it already. So what I did was. I know they be having time doing a breakdown. I told Troy to pull up. Hey, boy, pull up. It's Hold like, on. You threw the call out there. Yeah. Pastor Troy came show ready with the Come helmet on, and man. the belt. Show ready. And the DJ, <laughs> me, and the, me and the DJ was off to the side where they set the stage right, for something right, else. Right, and I right, let right. him just turn up. I'm like, I got something for y'all. We do the whole, we ready right there with a the cord this long. Rock the whole show. And then they booked him the next year. So, like, I, you know, I'm always. About. But every time Bro, I look I'm down, out. like, with every concert, it's always like, Ronnie. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Miss Pooh, yeah. I'm sorry, I was gonna say her real government. Ah. Ah. Miss Pooh and Hiram Higgs be front row at every Wolf Creek concert. It's like that's five or six. Sure. Of them, so. But that's because we have artists that we uh, perform at the concert. 
Right, right, right. I thought it was for me. Yeah, we bring artists. Not here for Kelly Price, but uh, yeah, we bring artists to the concert to perform. So then we end up seeing, you know, my brother there. We end up seeing Ronnie. And so yeah, see Ronnie there, and we just come out and have a good old time. Just so happened to be. Yeah, but like I say, my husband, he's been in the music industry for like uh, 40 years. Oh, so oh, he done managed shoot. everybody from Puff Daddy, Drew Hill, mm. Ronald Isley, uh, Mr. New, Biggs, uh, POC, uh, like I say, New Edition. Um, Damn. Who, who's, who's, who's been the funnest at the party? Like, out of all of the people that uh, you guys have been like friends with, like, who's the funnest at the party? Who would you be like? We setting up a party. They well, got to be there. Of course, Puff. You know, he's Puff got to be at the party. You know, he's the king of parties. Come on now. We done been yeah. to France. Like I we, when know. we do it big, like we go to France right, with right, Puff, right. and you know, we party. So that I would say Puff is the, the king Puff of the party. Is, I done I been mean, all around the world with my husband and him, and we do it big. You, you come know? in with the Diddy Bop. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 You got a whole got a bop, yacht, baby. Yes, we done did you it all. You got a whole bop to him. You feel me? The Diddy Bop. But you throw the you throw the best party. So like. Shout out to your youngest. Yes. Uh, she she just graduated high school. Yeah. Hey, I go over to her house. Her youngest daughter is like 18 and she got a, a P4F chain. Like, <laughs> Come like on now. Baby. I'm stop. like, she like, yeah, they're my people. I'm like, yeah. you got the real chain right. on? So they already teaching them how to be entrepreneurs. She does, awesome. she does her hair. She They book. They, they rent their house out for rappers to act like it's their house. But it's their house. I have three daughters. Yeah, I have three daughters. Right. And, you know, they graduated from college. Two graduated from college. Yes, one of them was oh. Miss Clark Atlanta. Yeah, one what? of them is a beauty hey, pageant. Hey, shout yeah. out to yeah. the Miss, yeah, yeah, Miss Detroit. And, uh, oh, and then my youngest daughter, she's 18. She just graduated from high school this summer. And uh, she's going to Michigan State. She's in okay. Detroit. She just left like, a week amazing. ago. Really? Yeah, when I'm there. So she didn't so want to stay down here. And, no, she's got to go up there and get situated and stuff. You know, they have to go to college. They have to do the. I done suffered enough. I feel like everything that I done been through, right. through my entertainment years, dancing and everything else, I feel like Jesus that put me on the cross <laughs> and actually sacrificed me for my daughters to do the right thing. That's what's and up. I'm like, I done been through hell and back in my life. So y'all got to go to college. I done sacrificed, but y'all got have to do the right thing. Right, right. I done, right. you know, went through hell and high water for y'all to live in mansions your whole life and, mm-hmm. and ride in Bentleys and Mercedes and this and this and that. All that shit. Alkaline water since yes, she was and everything six. look good. Alkaline and everything water that glitter out the is not, Everything that glitter is not gold. <coughs> yeah. And you see somebody living like that, but you don't know what they went through to get it or go right. through it. And, you know, and then, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I done went through hell for them to live like that, so all they had to do is just stay home and read a book and graduate college right. and be Shit. successful. That's all I wanted. I wanted something for them that I did not have growing up. You know, I'm old school. I grew up in the 80s, whole oh, crack yeah. era. You know, it was kind I'm of an rough 80s for baby me. too. Now, yeah, so you, you know no, what I'm saying? No, so, different. Like, she's like 80s bitch outpost. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might oh, be a okay. little. For real, like, for real. But I didn't really for real. Grow like, for up real, for real. Yes. Oh, okay. Like, the dudes who they made, the, um, that they made. Jack City about us from Detroit. Like yeah. Them guys, yeah. You know yeah. So I heard, all right. So the mystique on Detroit is like entrepreneur, but more so black market for the lack of better. Well, in terms. Detroit, you know, you, know, you like, get it. It ain't no, it's, it's not like hustle. Atlanta. Look, in Detroit, you either pimp players, hoes, or hustlers. God damn it. <laughs> you said it like a Bible verse. You said it like a Bible verse. Holes a hustler, Come on, okay? man. Shit. Like if you get some real motherfucking money, that, that's just what it that's is. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. Ain't it's nobody playing. It. it ain't like down here in Atlanta. Ain't nobody trying to dance, sing, tap dance, or I got a song. You getting it up there. You know what I'm saying? Hey. It's do or die. Come on. And that's how I've been raised up around real, you know what I'm saying, gangsters. I didn't even know fake diamonds existed kind of until I kind of moved okay. out here. I'm like, what? Well, yes, yeah, so I'm going to call it no, with it. This is like real, real talk, though. This is real talk, though, because like so I said, cold. Detroit is like that. I've been around a long time. Because the diamonds is real, bitch. <laughs> yes, like I didn't even Jeez. know certain things, you know, when I was when I was in my younger years, right. like what's going on now, right. and I tell my daughters, I'm like, this is foreign to me. That's right. why I, I had to get married because the guys now, I'm like, they ain't my cup of tea. Like, they just, yeah, it's a lot you know of what fraudulent I'm saying? Activity. It is. And I'm from the old school. And people and aren't I, real. Yeah, no, they not. And you meet a guy now, he don't even know your name. He just says, you going with me tonight? He don't try to take you out. To, just, just, like, just, not, everything just done changed. And just, I just tell my daughters, like, look, go to school. Right. Please. Right. Get your education. Take care of yourself because it's not like back in the day when I was growing up. Like, if you was, 
cute. You can find a guy getting money, a hustler, yeah. and he take care of you, put sure you up, put you in a fly ride, and you have you in a big house. You know, these guys looking at these girls like, what you going to do for me? What you talking about? <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? The time's the chance. Like, what you going to do for me? I'm going to use IG your credit. In five, I can't yeah, I'm going to drive like, your car. Like, it, so it everything like, is foreign to me right now. It seems like when Anita, I remember we, me and Anita went to college together, right? So mm -hmm. she took a summer and went to live with Miss Pooh in Detroit. Yes. Yes. And Anita was a shot girl. <laughs> At the club, I sure did have her do that. Again. She worked oh, at, yeah. but she was like telling me about the dude she was meeting. She was like, "These, they really got money for real." For real? And then, you know what I'm saying? But she came back with a little sauce. You know what I'm right. saying? Oh, it was a little feistiness. I was like, "I, I like it." Okay. Uh, we had we to was, yeah, we was, in, though. yeah, I had to get it back. I was like, "Hey, I ain't got no money." Now, <laughs> the bag is coming. But it's all the bag about is love. The at the end of the day, and what I'm saying is, if you get if, if you get love and you know it's real and it's true, yeah. then go for it. But Nine out of ten, these guys just want to hit it and quit it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like they just yeah. want to hit it and quit it. You just gotta be like, look. Well, this October is our fifteenth wedding anniversary, yeah. so be fifteen years. That was yeah. up, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Up, we gotta do something. Big. We, gonna we gotta renew our vows, man. We gonna do something dope. Uh, y'all gonna hop over a broom? Uh, maybe. Hey. Maybe. 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 We do something like Wakanda. Go out of town or something. Do like a uh, you uh -oh. know, destination. S cargo, uh -oh. my cargo, yeah. face ass. All of us, yeah, do something. It might be funky like that. You yeah. gonna take him to Diddy Diddy party around that time? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> you go to Diddy party, and might not want it. He might be like, "Hold on, I gotta rethink this now." Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got a booty. They making booty in the other room. They got a booty licking room. <laughs> No, hey man, it's a butt licking room in there. I'm going to go get my sister with cut hair. Oh, yeah, she's butt crazy. Room, <laughs> she got my blood in her, hey, trust man. me. So. And y'all know I'm crazy because if y'all watch Atlanta Love and Hip Hop, y'all know I am crazy yeah. as hell. So, I don't anyway, hold back. you came straight out and was like, so I got to catch these guys up. Yeah. Catch yeah, so Carly Red is one of the figures on Love and yeah, Hip Hop. I'm she she with gets Carly around on the show. She's like busy and all business. Right. So she, it came out that Miss Pooh with Carly Red and Hiram got it popping, uh -oh. and she didn't give a Pop damn. Pop. Do, got it popping, popping. Okay. It's like Paul. And, and Carly Red tried to play dumb, but she was like, "Bitch, you fucked up my twelve hundred dollars sheets." Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy, bro. It's like what she do thing. to the sheets? Hey man, she what, shit you, it on them. Oh yeah. yeah. Yo, uncut, bye. You heard me? She boo booed on the sheets. She shit on the sheets. She shit on the sheets. She shit on the sheets. Absolutely. But she shit on the sheets. They boo booed on the sheets. Oh, oh man. man. It happens. They got a crack. Hey, you ask a question. You ask a question. You get an answer. In your system, it make your bowels loose a little sometimes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was in the system. Don't know to show up for the threesome with a clean coat. With a clean coat. Hey, bitch, I had. You should have dished it out or something. Smooth moves the night before. <laughs> you should have prepared. She did. She drank the smooth moves. She just she ain't have enough time. She, she drank smooth moves in the car. So that she, she had that slim shake in the morning. Shame. So that moved <laughs> that hey, moved in that, that slim shake. Smooth, had but she wanted to right. Loose. So look, this is me and Anita watching this the yeah, first time. Yeah. We like this. Woo! <laughs> and we laughed. Doodle right? on the sheet. So like your dad is gonna want to. This show. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Every time he asked me when I go over there, shout out to my father in law, Janie Boy. Yes, daddy. Mr. Tommy. Hey. Look, so he was like, oh, uh, Yes, I have a father. On TV. You I'm think, not a bastard now? child, okay? On, my man. mother yeah. and father was married Come and had now. me, okay? Sure. Yeah. So, regardless what you think of me, I was raised up very well. Yeah, her father And I know still right living. from wrong. That's Amen. why I was able to raise my three daughters, three college graduate daughters. Ooh. College okay. graduate. Ain't going so right like now. To I just like to turn up and tell the truth. So, don't get it twisted between mm. the That's two. That's a t shirt. Don't turn up and tell the truth. Why are you playing? Yeah, I'm going to come up with that. Don't even drill. We got it. Because okay. you got it. Hey, man, gotta turn that off. Yes. I, and what? I have a makeup line, too. That's what I want to tell you guys about. Yeah, okay. So I have a makeup line. It's called FaceTime Makeup. It's www.facetime. Time is spelled T Y M E. Okay. Makeup.com. Yeah, it's and it's stick on eyeshadow. Yep, and I have lip plumper and I have brushes that you can you know, put it on. What the hell is a lip on. plumper? Educators. Lip plumper is where you put oh, the, uh, the, the lip. Lips. Yeah, oh, there you go. You put the lip plumper on and then you, you feel like a tingly feeling. That's when you know it's a working. Tingly now you have, yeah, a tingly feeling. Yeah, a tingly feeling. And your lips You'll get to swell like, okay. a little bit. So I don't like, need it. It's that. It's Kardashian <laughs> Hold juice. On. Yes, that Kardashian. You said you don't need none. Yeah, I don't need no pumper. No, no. It's, but it's, what, it's, I mean, it's, it's but you would consider it if you. She need. said if you put it on your lips and start tingling. Yeah, tingle just a little <laughs> bit, and that's when you know it's working. Because yeah. I just want you to know, 
my lip that cover is Rebo real, fishing and you will see compliment. a difference. I've been doing he very well. He was fishing. That was him fishing for a lip compliment. <laughs> Oh, oh, so I don't need no lip. Well. What's, what's so lip plumper do? Like I I'm just have, trying to be up. educated. And you know, you put your lipstick on and it just gives you that that pucker. Okay. Now, I know y'all didn't watch an episode when Carly, she was talking shit. She was like, uh, duck lips. And I said, who duck lips? And then mm. come to find out at the reunion, she got uh, lip injections with uh, well, her black. I didn't, I, I, and I'm I, like, all you had to do, girl, is get some of my lips. Right, you right. You didn't have to do that. Right. So you got they, up, even you though got they talk up. about you, they want to look like you. And I know that. Come you know, on, everybody man. used to talk about Michael Jackson, but wish they was him. Right. You still know, came on. Still came on. Exactly. So I got that kind of thing going on on the show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to. I talk can't. shit about I you never and could. look like you and Come be on, like man. you and live your lifestyle. So. Right. The two-tone what Cartier's you? on. We know what you got going like, on. Them is like drug dealer. This is on the drug dealer vision board in Detroit. Right? <laughs> like, but when I get them buffs right there. Hey, with them buffs right there, yeah, boy. Yeah, when I can find them, first of all, and right. I can afford them, I'm going to be somebody. That's I promise hilarious. you. Yeah, but right. see, this is the whole thing. I'm going to give y'all uh, from the beginning just to catch y'all up on Come things. On, all right. Okay, so, you know, I was friends with Carly, Mimi, and everybody for many but years. But you ran around before the show. I saw you with them. Like in real life. Yeah, because he been over you you he been over my house. I have like Maybe over there, yeah. Me, everybody, you know. Mm. They done spent the night. Like I, we're friends for real. Like mm. I'm probably the only one that's friends with them for real. Do you right. bust um, all up down or y'all just bust down Carly Red? What's up? I don't know. I'm going to say that for the next episode. Hey. Hey. If I'm on the next hey. episode, if I'm on the next episode, hey. I'm going to call all them bitches hey. out. Because hey. I'm mad at them hoes coming for me. I, I, if they keep fucking with me, all the secrets going to come out. Ooh. But then, <laughs> yeah. hey, I ain't really trying to really sell them all. I'm so trying to be nice about well, it. Do you and Harold nice watch episodes it. like B? That will beat that. <laughs> beat, <laughs> beat, beat, you know, beat, beat. I'm a bad bitch. If you like the females, I mean, like, come on now. Hey man. Well, you a good female. If you like the girl, do you like girls? Oh, but if you did, would that be your type? Just a little bit. <laughs> beat, beat, beat. This episode, beat. beat. This is uncut. This is uncut. You will beat. only get this interview right here with my family. Okay? Come on, hey, you about to be a regular. Keep it professional we gonna, with we somebody gonna, else. We gonna do a Miss Pooh segment on the show. We, For we real, more than Kobe. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, I was running around beat. with him for years. We was cool. You know, right. we was hanging, going right. out of town and whatnot, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, so Carly. Mimi is more so of a friend that you would talk to about problems and stuff like that. She talks to me about. Mm -hmm. Carly was more so my hang buddy, my, you know, let's get fucked up, have fun buddy. Right. You know, so when you hanging out for years and you get one tipsy night, you, you look at her, yeah, what's up with you? So it was some, it was like that. It right. wasn't like an ongoing thing. She was our girlfriend or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? She so was just she like. She not qualified for girlfriend. No, she did not because. So, uh, booty was first, was first time out, she shit on the goddamn No, it wasn't bed. the first time. Oh, like, it was the third okay. time. The third, we did it, time. the third time. Third time. She That's what I said. But it wasn't like she was a girlfriend or anything like right. that. It was just, we've been stop. hanging for 10 years. So right. that's what I said. You know, the third time, that's when that happened. Right. But then Pardon she, her for going to the varsity before. Yeah. <laughs> chili dog booty. What do you have? <laughs> Let me get what three do you have? chili what do you dogs have? with cheese. Cheese. So, what do you have, booty ass girl? So it's not that deep. So when she said that, she, I was listening to her, as y'all can see in the show. Right. And she running all this down to me, and I'm just li Whoa. listening to her. And I'm like, really, you is nothing for me to lie on. It ain't like you Jennifer Lopez Ooh, or Janet Jackson right. or somebody. We got right. Exactly. Right. Like, I ain't got, why am I lying on you? Like, you a bad bitch. Like, you really, it, really, I should be embarrassed to say I haven't got with you because you done got with so many people in the industry. She done fucked about three, four me guys on Love and Hip Hop. You finna say Migos. <laughs> no, yeah, no, probably didn't say. Three, four Migos. No, no, probably didn't say. Three, four, three, four saying, Migos. But I'm just saying, from Scrap to Jock to... Uh, Everybody, I'm just saying, a few of them this on the a, show. This is right. Her storyline so, as well. So her storyline. Yeah. So she Not have a, a different man, you know, every six months and getting engaged and getting married so that many times. So rash, and a lot of people crazy. thinking that I got mad and What's said that? this because I wasn't invited to her engagement party. And it wasn't about no engagement party. I spilled out the tea on her because when I go to, to her store to see her about other things, and she's saying all this stuff, I'm feeling on her man and all this. 
she was lying. But when she said that, that's when that came out. She mm. brought it out in me. Mm. I wasn't going to tell the T. I'm not a tattleteller. I'm not a, I'm not a bragger. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do it, you do it. Everybody right. does stuff behind closed doors. Right. But ain't nobody going to clown Except you. Me. Ain't no, yeah, nice. Yeah. But ain't nobody gonna clown you and, and say right. you doing this, you messing right. with my man, you getting drunk in a club. No, you is the one that threw up in the club, got drunk. She is the one. She called me a clout chaser. No, she is the clout chaser. Mm. I am the shit. Everybody knows my mo. You don't Everybody even know knows. how to work your phone that good. Exactly. So Everybody, you. I'm not a clout Here. chaser. Here. Everything that she was saying about <laughs> me is Put me her. On the thing. She was a groupie for <laughs> me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She asked me, can I get her in puff party? She went with me and Hiram every year, New Year's Eve, to pub parties because right. she could not she get, in. get in. Without you see right. what I'm saying? She was using Beat. my juice through my husband. Mm. Carly Red wasn't nothing. I was the shit before the reality shit. shows <laughs> even motherfucking hit. You see Man. what I'm saying? Before it right. was Carly Red. I've been on the scene before reality shows came out, before Instagram came out, any of that. Period. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you could Google me, see who you know my, what my history is or whatever, whatever. Like, but the, the way she betraying me, it's just fucked up. So that's why I spilt that tea. Like, bitch, are yeah. you serious? You know Do you, you really want to go there? Crazy. You know how I know you got hands? Because when they start turning up on the show, you just get calm and be looking at yeah, them. Yeah, like, I'm like, really? I'm being disbelieved. <laughs> like, are you really? I'm being just quiet looking at, are you really seeing what I think you're seeing? Are you, oh, you just so how did me? you convince Hiram to be on this show? Because it looks like, to me, he is out. Every time you see him, hey, Hiram, it was a bounce. Every time. A, a decline <laughs> How convinced, okay, Hiram, we've been together for, what, 10, 11 years, and he supports me. This really declined. <laughs> he does, anything that brings decline. Um, he supports me whatever I do. Right. Now, he wasn't all for love and hip-hop because okay. he heard of it. He don't watch reality TV as at all. As a husband, you can make tell money. he don't want to yes, be on Yes, right. he don't watch really TV. If he watched some, it's the news. Right. Um, he said, okay, if you, this is something that you really want to do because you have friends on the show. I told him, oh, we are going to be friends on the show. We're going to have lunch. We're not going to be fighting. Okay. Because in the rules, it say no fighting when you go to your meetings. No mm. fighting, no this, no that. <laughs> I had to convince him of that. So he said, okay. I said, no, baby, you're just going to do some cameos. You're not going right. to be in it. Just, just show that, you know, I'm your wife and this and this and that. Yeah. So, you know, he was like, okay, okay. So um, he did his cameos, and then he was like, this is not a cameo. Hold on. Cameos are just in the background or something. Right, and so right. I'm like, okay, baby, no, no, just say, say yeah, a few yeah, words. Yeah, the wardrobe so fitting. I, yeah, so I had to coach him along the way the whole time. Right. But it was hard. So as he started watching the show and seeing how things was edited and, and how I was portrayed, he was like, well, you know, I'm not happy with this. I said, yeah, baby, but it's love and hip-hop, and, and don't nobody look good. Let me just use this for a stepping stone because I have a book. Mm. I have makeup coming out. I have all right, this stuff. Right, right, Let me right. just use this. So I was a comedian. Yes, so I can have a voice <laughs> yep. because it's so much that I want to say, yeah. even though I had to, you know, do the whole love and love and hip hop thing to have a voice. Right, right, I just right. had to, you know, do Get that a first. When it comes to you. Exactly. So, like, I have a book that's coming out called The Truth Hurts. It's breaking okay. a lot of things down about okay. my life story and. Right. You know, things that I had to go through in the past, and hopefully it can help young girls along the way that want to strip and dance. Right. Because a lot of young girls, they don't want to go to college these yeah. days. They want to turn 18. I want to get my dance license. They look at this, the scrabbling, this beautiful life on Instagram, mm -hmm. and they see the cars, the houses, and the money, and they just think, oh, if I strip, I'm going to get all these, this money thrown on me. No, it's girls that danced and only come out of there with $75, and they done been in there for eight hours. And they be so, flexing like they got the bag. Exactly. So I'm, I'm putting the troop in there in the book so it can help a lot of people along Boy. the way. I heard it cost a lot to maintain a stripper's like looks. Her, it do. Like well, her it hair got to get done every couple of days. But some girls don't. That's yeah. why they don't make money. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's why they hold on. Like, bitch, That's true. Like That's three Fridays ago. Back in my day, office used to cost like five hundred dollars. You have to get your weed. Like they didn't even hire you if you wasn't top notch. You know, right. they come in, they want to look at your body and the light. They want your hair. Everything got to be done. Right. But right. now, exactly, yes. So now things done totally changed. Anybody could dance now nowadays. But these girls, they think it's a glamorous life, and it's not. So that's why I was so hard on my daughters. Like y'all need to get y'all education. Do not depend on a man to right. take care of you. 
You know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. So you you, you get mad, kick his ass out. You know what right. I'm saying? You ain't got to do what you think that you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's where a lot of the, the whole freakiness and a lot of stuff come in with a lot of girls because they with a guy, you know what I'm saying? And they want to please him because they're trying to get some money from him. Some, he said, had a threesome with, and they never done it before. They're like, well, okay, well, I'll do it. What you want me to do? They do it. They like it. They keep doing it. Right. And that's where a lot of that stuff comes from. A lot of girls, you know what I'm saying? We love who we love, and we... Nine out of ten, we want just that one partner who we with. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all clean up the room when y'all doing these threesomes online and shit. They look horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what you know what I'm saying. Like the my book is very deep because I break it down. So you know, but like I said, the whole thing with you know calling them, I didn't go on there to expose. That's what we was doing. It just ended up coming out like that. I didn't go on Love and Hip Hop to say this is my storyline. Coming just out up. like that. But she yeah, did bring it out. Because she knew friends. me. It so just ended up coming, coming out like that. That's really the name of the whole story. She kept trying to drop it, right? And then they would bring it up. She well, kept so trying she to drop it. She kept trying to drop it, so they kept bringing it up. So she brought the sheet up there. Oh yeah, that was in Trinidad. She brought that was the in shit Trinidad. through customs. You did not yeah, bring she brought the dude. I brought the shitty shit. How many receipts are you keeping? Monica Lewinsky. I got receipts on every last one of the whole thing. A whole shitty thing. sheet that I'm saving. So if I'm back next episode, right. they fuck with me. I'm gonna be pulling out receipts. It's a, I'm not holding them back, okay? Ooh, so that free. is what it Pull is. Pull back in. But the shit. They let the you sheet. through customs with a shitty sheet. But the sheets wasn't shitty. Carly, she, I know I got to clear this up because a lot of people say, she brought them sheets all the way to Trinidad. No, Carly got them clean. They, they, they 100% said so Carly got them clean right after that happened. She took them with her. She got them clean. They were $69. Like, oh, take me, take yeah. Me with you, baby. $69. Yeah, and she brought them back clean, her name and everything. And I even have the uh, the dry cleaner receipt Hold on. Hold on. that when she got them clean with her name and stuff on it. But she got them clean. And I put them in a the garage. I put them in a the garage because I was going to let my um dogs lay on them in the cage in the garage. So, no, it's just that. So your dog is sleeping on silk. Yeah. Never. I'm out of a failure at the threesome. Do you have to be to have them send the sheets? So they was in the garage. <laughs> send send the 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 actually, actually, actually they were in the garage child. almost a whole year before I ended up on Love and Hip Hop. Right. So when she when that whole story came out, and I was like, wait a minute, I you got those what? sheets in the garage. I still in got the box. Because I have the a dog lot of yeah. like, bro, what we got there? So that's why when I threw the sheets at her, she looked as surprised. Like, wow. Yeah, she was like, oh, my God. So she got mad, and that's when she started throwing stuff. And, 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 and Yeah, so, wow. you know, because I'm a receipt type of person because I don't lie because I'm too old a lie. My shit is together, so I have the attitude is you're going to like me or you're you going to hate me. What about but the whatever. people that just don't like you just because on the show? It seems like the people just pick a size just to pick a size. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you about that. But let me tell you how, how I roll. My thing is the reason why I tell the truth about everything because my life is, is what it's going to be. I done raised my children, so you right. can't hurt oh, me. Man. My kids right. done left home, and they all doing well. Doing so what you going to do at this point to fuck with me? You know this mean? is my motherfucking truth. You either going to like me, you either going to fuck with me, or you not, mm. and it is what the fuck it is. You're you not giving me, you're not putting no money in my pocket. Right. So unlike everybody else that's worried about their image, worried about what people think about them because mm. they're selling clothes and everything else, they worried about what people think about them because they're, they need they. They money, they services. You right. see what I'm saying? The way services. I'm, yeah, the way I'm set up, the way I get my money, regardless if you hate me or what love me, mean? I don't need your services to, to, you know what I'm saying, to make money. Yes, to make money. You know what I'm saying? I don't need your services. All I need, all I need to do is, is, is cash a motherfucking check that's yeah. coming from so y'all wherever, wherever. Dripping, y'all don't hear it dripping so through. My the shit is a little bit than anybody else. I ain't got to be motherfucking light. That's why I tell the truth. I feel but a lot of people honest but a lot of honest people that respect the truth yeah. and respect me, they like, okay, I like her because she's a down ass and she tell the truth. Come on now. And that's like hard to find dope, these days. I feel like you would play a dope madam in a movie. I know. I can see that. I can offered a couple of movie roles. Hey man, I can see it. You seem like you can motivate these girls to get this money out of Oh here. baby, that's what yeah. that book is for. That Don't book is gonna fuck them up. Like when they hear, when they read it, the I'm breaking dropping. it down. So do you feel like and the girls like, these days give away too much? Cause like what about like this? <sighs> What would Pimp and Poo from the 90s say about Instagram era of kids right Pimp now with this Pimp and Poo? Hell I, call yeah. Pimp, I just made it up. Pimp and Poo. 
Cause he the, <laughs> <laughs> he the, I got him geeked up. He called me yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. the truth started like the no, the truth made the truth make you say, like oh, God damn. She spent some real Pimpin shit like she poo. a pimp. Hey, pimp so what did I so? Pimp and poo. Real truth though, don't they? They spit that shit on them. They tell you some shit. You be like, God damn. That's why they say church. That's exactly. My grandfather was pimp. That's why I'm like. This feels right. Oh right. my God. So, it feels right. It <laughs> feels like, good. So, yeah, so what poop. was your, like, you from coming up in the 90s and the real shit before you, you told everything? Like, yes. how do you feel about how girls do now with the twerk mm. videos and the, you know, and I'm the not pickle challenge, the, the, the cucumber challenge specifically? See, that shit, I don't <laughs> like that. That shit that turned me the fuck off. Like, really? All the real grown women are like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Like, I would never, ever, no decent, respectful man that's in got anything going on with one, his girl on Instagram and with a cucumber. that's what I said. Uh, Period. Challenge. I said Period, that right? shit. I said specifically What, what that kind shit of man you going to get that have it going on? Like, you might get a little rap or something. But I'm just saying, like, my level type of man. You'll never get my level type of man doing no shit like that and you putting it on camera. And even to be twerking and showing your ass and all that old kind of stuff, you know, like you ain't got to do that. To me, that's damn near like selling sex. They just like, people going to DM you and say how much you charge. You know they, what I think they, they do. do. I, I, yeah, I they think do. That's, I think that's the purpose. <laughs> they, do. they say they do. I think that's the purpose now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like the track is on IG. Instagram. Like, IG it is, is Craigslist right so now. So I, I wonder Period. why I ain't got a lot of likes. I'm like, I ain't got a lot of likes. As soon as I, my, my little, one of my little uh, Instagrams, I swung around the pole, one of the parties mm -hmm. I did, and my likes went through the roof. Yeah, I yeah. said, so shit, if I'm not on Instagram showing my ass, shaking it with a thong on, showing my booty cheeks, I'm not going to get a million followers. A million. I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. They could keep that because Period. it is what it is. Like a lot of those girls are not married. They don't have husbands. Right. They're solo. So they could be on Instagram and stuff like that, but just the way the women are today on Instagram, I just be like, well, maybe I'm just too old school, set in my ways. Girls go with men, you know, they ain't gotta do nothing, you know, they just go sleep with them in one night. They ain't gotta try to get. I'm used to, I'm used for a man like working for it, like, baby, what you want, what you need, what diamond you Speaking want. Speaking of working for it, that's what I want to know. Like, I'm just used to <laughs> this shit nowadays. I'm just like, let me go sit my ass down. Speaking of working for it, like, how did you and Hiram first hook up? What was the first date? Y'all went on, or like, how did y'all even link up? Was it like at an orgy? Well, the first at a what? I'm just kidding. Ah, only he could ask me that. That's why you're running. Only he could oh, ask man. me that. <laughs> the first day, I was yeah, like, no, we, I can, we got a podcast. I can do this shit your spicy. Mouth. Spicy. I, I like a spice, and I, I, like I say, this is only this is uncut for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you're no kidding, but like, how do how what's the first date? The first day, like? the first day I had met him, I would say the first official day he took me to uh, France, uh, Saint Tropez. See, I knew him some official, shit I couldn't see, afford. All right, see, there you go. Official. That's the first day. Official day. No, nigga, fuck that. I went out. I met him, I met him and we talked right then and there and we talked over the phone, but when we actually hooked up, he said, Let me take you to France. Oh, so no cap shit finna go. She was I mean, going so, so, already. So y'all said like, fuck Applebee's. That nigga <laughs> said. Well, we talk, I said Applebee's. we talked over we talked on the phone because he traveled a lot. Because he have, you know, he I think he had new addition some at the time, but he traveled a lot, so we would talk on the phone. So I think we talked on the phone about a month. So when we officially got together, he said, I'm getting you a, a, a plane ticket. Meet me in France. These That's girls right. need to know what you said meet in me that in month. France. Right. What was Look that? Look at Facebook. She just, just like, she what? Stopped, she stopped <laughs> looking on social media. Only 30 days. That's what's going to get him on social media. <laughs> This so book is going to be revolutionary. Girl, I don't think guys, I don't even know how to do it these days. I just, I, I don't can't know. let it my wife hit this shit, man. I'm planning a Savannah trip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we gonna get a three two. Uh, what's this? I don't play no games. I'm straight I mean, I to the cut. Oh, just like I'm God. honest with everything. I'm right. just honest. So when I meet somebody, I'm like, look, I got X, Y, and Z going on, if, if, and this is what I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to do it like this. And if you ain't trying to do it, if you, we not on the same page, Boppity let's boom. just be friends. Period. So what's the second thing? I was just about to ask. I was just about to ask. It's some cheesecake factor going on. Flight back was the second thing. Yeah, the flight was so long. Actually, we stopped in. Amsterdam, and we stayed over there a few days too because we had a layover. We stayed over the there. So that, so that could be a second long. date. That could be a second so date. The flight was so long. So Y'all came back to the States and was like, hey, that was a great trip. You want some pizza? Yeah, like, what <laughs> he don't eat pizza. pizza. <laughs> He's a bit, he don't know. He don't, he don't eat meat. Next time, y'all. He eat vegetables Y'all went out. What was the next outing? Um, well, we went out of town. Like, he traveled a lot. We went to LA. 
Yeah. We went to LA. I think we he was doing something at the BET Awards. Like he's never in town, so he traveled. Like he stayed on the road. He stayed traveling. So he said I have to go meet him wherever he's at and whatever he's doing because take care of business. Is that exhausting? Very. So mm -hmm. a lot of times. Like now, I would stay home and let him travel. Right. He goes. Look here, I'm so tired of cool looking at an airplane. I don't see how he time. does it. Like he's a very, very busy man. So what? Ha so me. what's gonna happen when the pool brand takes off? Like it is gonna do, and you're gonna oh, be fucking you. out of here doing shit. Is Harper gonna go with you, or y'all gonna? What, what's gonna happen? Well, we're probably um, we're probably meet up in the middle because, like I said, he's all for it, and he loves you know me trying to get my my own. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, he would meet me. You know, his his schedule is flexible. He's his own, he is his own boss. Come on, he man. makes his own money. So he could do whatever he want to do and be wherever he want to be. He just choose to be over here with his million dollar deal versus over here. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Sure. So he could do whatever right. he want to do. So yes, if I have something going on, he most definitely be there to support me. Is he gonna like manage you choice. or what's going y'all talked about it? Um because it's gonna flood in quick. Yeah, don't well, let you if you wrap it off. Right, you know, I would say I would love crazy. for him. That would be an honor, and I just I would say I'm starstruck because he has like so so much behind him. If he right. was to manage me, that, lady, I, that would be she's an honor. starstruck by her own husband. by my own husband. That's that amazing. Would be you honor. see that shit? He's even here. He I'm has made superstars. Like, oh, he on, has man. made superstars. Like he has made. He done brung old school back up to new school. Done mm. put records out on. You know, KC and JoJo, like he has done. Uh, it would be know an how honor. hard it is for me not to showcase when I see him. <laughs> yes, it would be an honor. <laughs> it was at the was baby shower. I was gonna be like, "It's crazy <laughs> here, right?" <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so happy and lucky when he give me advice. I'd be like, "Yes, baby, please tell me what to do because this industry is so hard and kind of yeah. like." Cutthroat people right. say they're gonna do this and do that, they don't do don't what they say they're gonna do. Right. Follow through, yeah. So he'd be like, I'm trying to let you do this on your own, but if you want my help, I will help you and take you where you need to be. But you know, I have a little pride, I'm like, I got it, baby, just let me see what I could do on my own. But you know, he's all about supporting me 100%. So it is what it is. But like, on another note, the whole uh, love and hip hop thing. You know, he was feeling some kind of way about that because he was getting a lot of phone calls. Like, what you doing on the show? You know, yeah, you better yeah, yeah. than that. You right. bigger than that. You you know, you done, you the godfather. You the greatest. Right. And X, Y, and Z. And he was like, well, I'm just doing this for my wife. You know, can people don't understand that. People don't, don't you understand. niggas love anybody? Shit. I know. People don't understand <laughs> black love. Like, come on now. Like, it's like he, um, actually, I caught him at a very good time because he was like, on a, a, a break, so he was able to film at right. that time because he just left out of the country not too long ago. And when he go out the country, he'd be gone for almost like a month or so. But I had caught him at that time when I was filming, so that's why Love and Hip Hop was even able to catch him mm. that many times to film. He was on there by about four times, but still okay. he was home. So, you know, he was like, well, it seemed like I'm really on there a lot. Like, no, baby, you was on there four times. He's like, but still, that's, that's a lot for me. I'm like, right. yeah, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. And even Stevie, you know, a good friend of ours, he been knowing Stevie for 20 years when Stevie was a young boy. Right. And Stevie was like, "Oh wow, Hiram, it's an honor to film with you. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm like, if, if you That's was on here, be off, they'd be like, Who, nobody know. I'm like, no, you they, don't know. they don't know because they're, cool, they're, they're kids. They, they, they not even in the music. And she kind of don't see. She, she follows uh, Tiny and them. She, they coattails. She don't know nothing about <laughs> music or nothing. You know what I'm saying? She, she riding off of them. So birds don't fly with eagles. People that cut checks and million dollar motherfuckers know who Hiram is. I don't expect them to know who Hiram is. Right. Some reality show Tiny host. Knows, you know Tiny. what I'm saying? Tiny know who Hiram is. Tiny, Tiny know. T.I. know. T.I. Know. T. I been out at, at, at my studio that we own the Artist Factory. They have done, um, actually they have filmed down there the, uh, one of their reality shows about their daughters when they were little or something. So Hiram is very well known in Atlanta. Everybody has been down to the Artist Factory. Uh, T.I. time. I got pictures of T.I. at my uh, studio. Like I said, I have receipts. receipts. Of everything I say. Receipt. So Shekana, Shekana is just like a hood rat, whatever. Receipts you know, so she don't know no seats. better. They, right. they, 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 they don't, they don't, they not, you know what I'm saying? So right. I, I don't pay them no mind. They just rope my feathers sometimes and I just feel like I have to break it down who I am. Gotcha. It's not about bragging, but I'm like, look, don't, don't put me with the rest of y'all, mother. I'm not in the same basket, okay? It's a, I, I'm grateful that my husband even let me do this show. Right. They right. don't have nobody that they even had to ask, "Can I do this show?" Because everybody drive, everybody solo. You Ooh. see what I'm saying? Everybody solo. Everybody solo. 
So I just hate that these girls let that brought me down to their level and their how they roll, talking crazy, talking trash, mm -hmm. talking. You know what I'm saying? Because my husband don't want me to be talking crazy, even using cuss words. He want me to carry myself like a lady all yeah. the time, like we do when we go to the you know the White House, the president's dinner, and you know, to France and to meet these big CEOs to get these million dollar deals and stuff. He wants me to carry myself like that. But what I got to tell, I tell him, baby, I know you mad, but when you in Rome, you got to do as the Romans do. But what I'm going to do? You see I what see, I'm saying? I sent the hostile takeover coming. Yes, when you in Rome, you got to do as the Romans do. Hey, I'm a perfectionist. I'm good at everything I do. So if I'm on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, I'm going to get ratchet with them hoes. Like, they ratchet. If I'm on Atlanta Housewives, I'm going to get Hollywood and, and, and drive my Bentleys and show my clutch my pearls. Like, how dare you? So I'm whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, 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 I blow with the wind, goddamn. I'm going to rock whatever fucking like, reality show you. I'm on, goddamn. I'm going to turn that motherfucker out. Hey, what if turn you, up what if the you're the first person that has been on all of those platforms? Like, what if you go from here Ooh, to that'd LA be hard. to Miami to like all of them because you can do that? Yes, everybody was asking you have me the that. Bag. You know, I even have people asking me, Pooh, you need to go to Atlanta Housewives. They mm. say, You are not loving hip hop, you are Atlanta Housewives. Actually, I feel like I was dummy down to fit in with them ratchet them up. I, did, I didn't show none of my cars, I put up in my Bentleys, my name on the license plate, all that. They didn't show none of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They had me pull up in it. Then they didn't show my house like how they show like Atlanta house. So they show like every era of the house. Right. They just show whatever area I was talking in. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like I was dummy down just to fit in with them. So I'm I'm well equipped to be on any reality show. Like I can get hood with them. Hell, I take them to my guest house. This is where I live. Or I could take them to the, the main house and I say, let's do Atlanta like housewives. You, you have hung let's out with Mona. Have you hung out with Mona way before this? Have you hung out with Mona Sky Young? No, I never hung out with Mona. I That's think that true. I can definitely say it's the first time I heard somebody say I can get hood with them. I can get hood and then with them. Oh, I can get rich with it. Be, I take them to my guest house. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I could be, I could be any kind of thing. Like because I am that real type of person. <laughs> I didn't grow up with all of this. House. You know That's what I'm hard, saying? Man. Like I said, I don't went through hell she to got get real to fresh where I'm at. Shit going on, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't house. have no Hollywood story like, oh, I live this glamorous yeah. life. I do yeah. all this and that. Right. I just have to let hoes know when they come for me. But at the end of the day, I'm down to earth. I grew up in the hood. You know, we all get a few dollars and we, you know, move, you know, up in the suburbs or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm very down to earth. Like I, I can hey, roll with Detroit, whoever and live time? wherever and I'm gonna right. go to Detroit with you. I've been with yeah. the other side of the family. I just did a hosting in Detroit. Yo, I, you know what? I, I forgot to, go, to tell you about it. And it was to go off the coat hook. Detroit. That's what I did. Oh, oh in the winter. Cold, That's why I moved from Detroit. All the cold. It's cold, cold no, no, no. Right. I'm talking about lifestyle. I ain't talking it's about the actual. It's so cold. Oh. I'm talking about indeed. I need to go with Miss Pooh. I ain't been to any Detroit <laughs> with Miss Pooh yet. I've been <laughs> with all the shots, experience. all the other cousins. I know. But I just did a booking in Detroit. It was amazing. When I tell you, they came out for me. It showed me so much love. That's what's up. It's on my IG. Like, it was off the hook, but I don't know why I forgot to tell you. Right? But you be so busy. You got a lot going on yourself. You be traveling, And man. I'm proud of you, too. Like, I you just that. as busy as me now. I mean, but you've been busy for years. I'm just not trying to catch up with you. But, hey, man. Like, I'm proud of you, brother. Like, I hey. love you. Hey, that's dope. I appreciate it. But <laughs> you got your sisters right, man. I appreciate you got them being somebody to look up to. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, look at this oh. shit. I need to get one of these. Ah. Definitely, I have thought about going to your house and IG it the fuck up. Like, uh, everybody <laughs> come on my house, they want to take. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, nigga, shit, everybody want to sit by this piano and take a picture. Mm -hmm. I don't care what's going on. But how do your daughters feel about you being on Trey? Love it. Um, at first they was like, "Ma, you know that show going to show you in a bad light. Right. You know the girls going to be trying to fight you. Right. You know." And I'm like, "No, we all friends. We're gonna you came go in with good lunch. intentions." We're gonna have lunch, and we—I I don't know. I guess I had Beverly Hills Housewives in mind. Right. I thought everything was gonna be good, but once I got on there, because I didn't tell them I was originally gonna be on there, I didn't want to tell them until I knew for sure. But once I got um, on there, everybody started treating me funny, started talking shit about me behind my back, and all this chaos, and mm -hmm. everybody telling everybody lies and this and this and that, and all hell broke loose, and everybody started treating me funny and acting crazy. And I'm on there fighting and arguing with people that I don't even know. I don't even know them. I right. don't know Spice from a can of paint. I really don't fuck with Tokyo. Tokyo was a le she's a lesbian. She uh, fucks with one of my girlfriends, and they had relationships, and they broke up, and she Wait thought it was Tokyo, my fault. You out of Tokyo? Is she known to be a lesbian? No, no, she's not known to be a lesbian. She's known for um. She was 
Dating that one guy. No, no, she didn't want dating him. They didn't fuck. That, that be like just, a virgin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, 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 so let me get back yeah, to the fact. Just, I, her okay, storyline was she was a virgin and she dated this one guy a long time. She's a virgin because she don't. She never got fucked, but she liked pussy. That's why she's a virgin. Yeah. So she dated it. one. Ain't that well? It is what it is. But she dated one of my girlfriends, <laughs> ah. and um, they fell out. And she felt like it's my fault that I was on the girl side and that I was talking shit about her to the girl side. So I don't even know. I don't even care because Tokyo ain't even. You know, I don't fuck with her. She's not really my cup of tea. Right. Me and her would never like really be hanging out like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm nice to everyone. So I'm like, I'm not into you and her mix. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm just her friend, one of her friends. We, not, me and her girlfriend ain't even that close like that. But Tokyo took it out on me and, and was taking everybody's side, Sierra and everybody, attacking me. And I'm like, Tokyo, what is wrong with you? I never said nothing bad about you. Oh, I never did nothing to you. I don't know what the problem is. That's one story. Spice, I don't know her from a can of paint. I never met her until um, maybe the last uh, week of filming. You know what I'm saying? She coming for me because she wanted Petray to be Carly Rae's friend. Mm. So, you know, everybody, they what they what they trying to do is, since I'm a newcomer, and they don't know if I'm going to be on their next episode or next episode, so it's just safe for them to ride Carly's and, and, and everybody's coattail that have been on there for years because that secured their spot. They feel like that secured their spot for next episode and next mm. episode. You see what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's kind of like politics. It's like the newest it's person. It's, it's, yeah. if, you, if you notice the pattern of love and hip-hop, the newest person always gets shitted on by the girls. Like exactly. They never get yeah. shitted they on. They never... They, they don't, they don't exactly. listen to them. I saw <laughs> what you did. They, you I saw what you did. Work your damn way on. Way. Exactly. And they damn near get them kicked off the damn show or right. something because they all gang up on them mm. and say, we don't like her, we don't like her. And then they get the new girl. Because I feel like a couple of girls, Lovely Mimi, a mm -hmm. few of them should be on that show right Love now. Lovely Mimi's hilarious, hilarious too. Mimi, but man, all of them, yes. But they gang up on these girls, these newcomers. And you pick, it's either you're going to pick the, you're going to be like a handler. I would say a dick rider, but this girl, you're either going to be, you're going to ride for every, you're going to ride for the girls. Like Carly has done shit to all those girls on the show. They forgive her because they want to be her friend that fucking bad. She done set Sierra up That's with good. all these girls that BK them fucked. Get, damn, they got Sierra ass kicked. Sierra still her motherfucking friend, still riding for her. She done goddamn <laughs> um, fucked Tokyo's man, by, sub, Tobias, Fucked him and, and, and lied to her in her face. Tokyo still trying to be her motherfucking Shout friend. To Tobias, she we had him on bossing. Yeah, Tobias, that's my boy. He Would you ever house on, when Tobias he came over? Up on, the tall dude was yeah, yeah, yeah. Alabama. He was doing man on the street, and he just came out the store and did like a little man on the street. Yeah, Tobias is cool as hell. Like yeah, that's Tobias my boy. Cool, he done yeah. been in my house. Like, dog, everybody. Like I'm cool with the too. whole cast. Right. I done dealt with them outside. But Carly has done. I was I was breaking it down. All the stuff that Carly has done. The people, even like Rashida, she go find out who this baby is, go take a picture with the baby, then go try to like. If, if, I would have been fucked Carly up on that goddamn show if I was one of so them ain't girls. Be no flip flopping with you. No, exactly. So what these real. girls do is they forgive her because she been on the show for ten years, and they just feel like let me forgive her. It's not that big of a deal, right. so I could stay on the show because you get more scenes if, if you're friends with. Whatever. But, yeah, yeah, if you're friends with them, you get more scenes. Because if you're not friends with them, who you going to film with? Mm -hmm. So unlike me, I don't need the show. And at the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck. My truth is the truth. So I, if I don't like you, I don't like you, and I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, I'm going to cuss your ass out on this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if we film or not. Right. So it's just the so difference. So who do you really like? Like, because I know it had to hurt to be like, one day you at your house with yeah. these people. And then he's he like, went to my house. Him. He saw Mimi, Carly, everybody. Right. Uh, shit, Erica Mena, Sierra. Yeah, Tokyo, the whole fucking cast has That's been crazy. to my house. Yeah, Tobias. Before you was on the show. Like, yeah, before I was on the show. Right. Yeah, years before I was on the show. But I'm just saying, like, Tobias, you know, me and Jock, has Jock been out at my studio, me, him, and Carly, we done hung out, and, and uh, me and Steve, everybody has been to my house, either at my studio, hanging out with me and Hyra. Right. So I know these people, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't come on the show to beef with them, tell their secrets. Or, or say shit behind, they, they come in attacking me right. and making me say these things to them. Like, bitch, ser are you really serious? Do you really want to go there? So when they keep fucking with me, then I spill the tea. Mm. I'm not a, t a tea hell spiller. motherfucker. Yeah, tea spiller. Yeah, that's a tea spiller. <laughs> tea spiller. I'm not they a keep tea attacking spiller. me and fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? What I'm what I supposed to do? I got to let you know what, what it is. But that's right. what we watch. Me and Anita watching for them to enable. We, we looking at them like they don't even know. They don't even know people. 
I know they don't. It'll leave it. Ooh, they have no man. idea. My family members call me like, is this for real? Please tell me this is this right. ain't for real. Do is, not like, have me drive to a The whole Detroit no. will pull up. Yes, bro. I'm the whole, you, like, it's, yes. They got, it's a lot of them. Yes, well, I wrote, my family is deep. Like Ronnie called me every every episode. Now you sure this is for, this is for play? <laughs> you sure? I ain't this trying to get play. nobody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because I know my family love me and right. I don't want none of them to go to jail fucking right. with these hoes, you know, trying to get a check. Because yeah. unlike them and me, I don't need Love & Hip Hop Check to pay my bills. I've been living in mansions for many years, ever since I made sure my kids, when I decided to have them, they was going to live very well. So before reality shows even came out, I've been living well and driving good. Like, uh, like a lot of these girls on these reality shows, you see them starting out, they're not living that well. Then when they start getting these checks from the reality shows, then they get right. their mansions and their Bentleys and Better their this and this and yeah, so I'm not like all the rest of the girls that's on reality shows. I've been living in mansions. I've been driving Mercedes and Bentleys and this and this and that. And if you ask somebody that has known me for 20 years and many years, I've been getting the bag. Thank I didn't you. have to get on the reality TV to get a check and live in a mansion, buy a house and a car. So I'm, I'm different from all these girls on TV. I don't play with motherfuckers, period. period. That's why my mouth is the way it is. You I see what I'm saying? Because I, I, I I've been in the streets forever. Like right. I say, I'm, I'm, I'm an '80s baby. I'm in the crack area. It's do or die. But the cool you part is, like, all like Detroit people have this trait of being y'all, y'all turn up, but y'all don't even bring it on. Y'all just chill, chill. The, <laughs> it's like sweet as can be. You won't even I say am, nothing. I am a sweetheart. And, then, okay. and that's what a lot of people don't know about me. I'm a sweetheart. I'm a Sagittarius. I love people. I get along with everybody. I love yeah. to see everybody happy and we have fun. And I hate the show kind of portray me as a daddy bitch. Of play when she see him. Yeah, like, <laughs> and the thing is, and that's what I was to a lot of the girls because, I, you know, I'm a little older than them, so they come to me for advice, like the Carly and Mimi and the Pooh, what should I do about this, about their advice? Because they was in and out of relationships and I always had the same person, but they had multiple people, women, men, whatever, whatever. So they'll come to me to fix their relationship or even when they fall out with each other, the other girls, I mend the girls together. I was kind of like the godmother of the group. You know what I'm you saying? You out here fixing their crowns? I'm fixing it. I'm fixing everything. Yeah. Their relationships That's when they show. fall out with each other. The other girls and stuff that we, because we, it was a group of us hanging out. I fixed it. Come on, y'all. It ain't that Can serious. Can I give you the TV show? Can I give you my pitch? Go ahead. Yes. It's called Pooh Fix My Crown. Mm. Hey, we can do that. She bends together these girls with these crazy ass backgrounds. Yes. Give, and, them, a, give them a job trait. Yes, and that's what Give I thought I was skill. going on the show to be the voice of reason and all that was going to be my friend and they was going to come to me with all their problems. Right. Mimi come to me, what's, I fix her and tie, I fix Carly and whatever, whatever. But shit, I got on the show and everything went motherfucking left. I'm on there acting a goddamn fool. I'm damn disappointed in myself. Do you think, do you <laughs> I got on there and turned the fuck up. Do you think right. they decided that behind your back? Like, they was, gonna, they was like, yo, y'all know what it is. Yeah, well, the girls got the word that I was going to be on the show, mm -hmm. and I didn't know it. So they said, we're not going to tell her we know. We're just going to feed her with a long handle spoon and act funny towards her. But when somebody is acting funny towards you and you know them and you've been hanging out with them for years, you know when they act that funny. You know they're not calling you as often. You know they're not calling you, telling you the tea or what's going on in their relationship and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, these bitches acting funny. So then I start, you know, like, okay, it is what it is. I guess it's war around this motherfucker. So when we film... It is what it is. Bitch, you come for me. I'm letting it all out. I'm, it's blood around this motherfucker because I can hang with y'all. Y'all don't want to fuck with me, <coughs> period. period. I will bring it to you. That's why Carly was crying all season while I was on that motherfucker. She, every time somebody, every time <laughs> she, she was like, crying on a reunion. Yeah. Every time <laughs> like, if, if somebody she wouldn't check it. on her. She cried all motherfucking every, season. Every don't time fuck with me, goddamn it. You bet off me and my friend. Like, crying, she going to be crying like, on a oh. reunion. Y'all watch. Y'all got to stay tuned. And that the reunion going to be hot, goddamn it. Ooh, gonna be I think hot. Carly just trying to, just figuring out how to stay on reality TV. Carly does oh, whatever period. to that's stay. A, that's her job. That's everybody's that job. job. That's, that's everybody's job. You got to right. stay on TV. That's the bad. The, the right. trick is staying on television. Yes, like, so they going up. for blood because, like I said, if you're trying to pay your bills with that, you know, you, you right. got to do whatever you got to do to stay on there. To me, it was, it was fun, something to do. I just wanted to experience it. If I'm on next season, good. If I'm not, it is what it is. I'm still going to have the same lifestyle and live the same way. But unlike them, they, they cutting each other's throat left and right. And I ain't used to that. I'm like, I thought we were just having fun. 
I right. thought it was cool. Can right. we just go out after filming and have a drink? But everybody all mad, want to fight, want to cry. And I'm like, we, it ain't that deep. It is what it is. Queen should swing. If you I know, know the I mean. truth hurts. But at Queen the end of the day, swing. Carly, it's just the threesome. Who really cares? It's right. not that deep. And well, then everybody well, that had one, I ain't saying you. That, when, when you shit the before you was with my sister, though. But damn well, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Forever. <laughs> we've, been, we've been dating since we was five, goddamn. <laughs> That's what Wikipedia like said. I'm married since we were seven. <laughs> We got but it's not that grade. deep, and it's like all this chaos over goddamn threesome. I was, I'm just was tired of the situation. I was tired of talking about it. Like I was going to Carly to talk about other issues that we was having right. because if you watch the show, it seemed like I kept it coming to like her, bringing it up. Yeah, like I'm the one bringing it up, and I keep coming to her, apologizing, trying to talk about the threesome. If you watch it closely, Carly is the one. That's bringing it up to me. Like if I talk to her about something, she say, "Just apologize or just say you didn't do it." Like why would I lie for you? Like you want me to lie for you and and lie just because of your daughter? And I got three daughters too that look up to me. Like come on now, the truth is the truth. Just own it. You know what? If Carly just would have said as soon as I said that, yeah, I did it. So what? It was four, three, five years ago. Put nobody me talking about this now. Right. Just think. If she just would have said, "Yeah, I did it, girl." That was back in the day when we was. Wilding out, whatever she said, we was drinking, and nobody well, wouldn't even talk. Booed y'all like boo y'all. Yeah, threesome. she the one drug. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even make it Own it, on, move right. on. At this age, when you reach your 40s, 45, it is what the fuck it is at this point. Period. Yeah. Period. Period. Are you, sick, are you sick of that word yet from City Girls? Are you sick of the City Girls? Well, I'm sick of Tokyo saying it. Period, Kylie. Period. <laughs> yeah. She's such a hater. <laughs> period, Kylie. Period. Uh, I'm just Larry, like these yeah. girls. Like I am so nice and cool. Like I, I invite everybody to my home. I show them love. They go swimming in my pool. They go to my movie theater. They go exercise and playing Pac Man in my game room. Like my house is theirs. And for them to get me on this show and treat me like this, like I am so disappointed. All them mm. hot dogs and shit she done made for y'all baked beans. Exactly. And shit. Exactly. All that popcorn y'all Tokyo got Tokyo come movies. cooking up all my goddamn food, put my motherfucking lamb chops and shit on my motherfucking grill. <laughs> yeah. Y'all you had a attacking damn. me for no reason. I don't never attack That'll none of these people. That'll piss me off if you ate my lamb chops. Yeah. Because I don't, you know, shit. Like, my home right. is like a Because y'all open. free is at this point. Y'all yeah. Like, that's my refrigerator is yours. My everything. My refrigerator. Go, you can go yours. lay in one of my guest bedrooms, take, go to niggas, sleep, take a shower. I have seen know. niggas come out of veganism with lamb chops. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't fuck with me, but goddamn. Everybody come to my house, they party, they fall asleep in <laughs> all my lamb bedrooms. Dude. I don't use yeah. a lot of my bedrooms. Because I only use one room in, in the <clears throat> seven rooms that I have. So they right. all crash. I don't know where they had to get up. This bre- like, I thought I was a really good friend. So it kind of like hurt me this season to see everybody cross me and just jump on some bullshit like this. I mean, you well, are a good friend, you know, them. but they do anything for clout. Because the clout awesome. shit will mess a lot of good bridges up. I think, to me, like, it's like, it's the season, like, when, remember when Candy first got a Real Housewives and everybody was fucking with Candy, yeah. like, mm-hmm. who is Candy? I'm like, nigga, she wrote no scrub. You yeah. shut your ass up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like I think it's the same thing. It's like the the, the most threatening one. They kind of pounce. And they was coming for Candy all hard. They came for Candy the first season. Marlo told me she ain't got this, and then Candy one of the richest ones on when she bust Why motherfucker wide. She bust motherfucker wide. Yeah, Candy bought two benches. Yeah, she each showed other. their indoor pool. It's two, it's two Billy said, big big ass Candy bro, Candy said, I could, I could take care of the last one of y'all bitches. Don't tell me, bro. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. So they, the girls no take care. you there. That's, they take you there. That's why the girls took me there. When they come for you and be talking shit about you, they'll take you there. Oh, Candy has a beautiful personality. She is a sweetheart. The she's, nicest motherfucker, man. The ni- she's one of my dearest friends. And for them to take her there, that's a prime example of how these girls take me there and make me say, look, bitch. I'm the bad, I'm the only one on this motherfucking show living in a house in a motherfucking country club. Country club, bitch. Not a house in the hood, a mansion in the hood, a mansion in the motherfucking country club over a million dollars, bitch. Google my address and check my motherfucking resume. They will make you tell these hoes that. You see what I'm saying? Because if they bring you to that point. If you got regular gas in your car, they, they make bring you turn it around. That point. They make you turn around. They like, bro, you got 87. 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 What happened to my, uh, what was it that did? I really appreciate this because for me to tell my side of the story, we don't get a chance to, you know, let people know how we really are on the show. They see us say, oh, she fucked up. That's fucked up. She did this. That's fucked up. She did that. You know, what, what? And I'm like, 
I'm not really like that. I want to like go through the TV like, no, that's not me. That's not me. But like I said, I get a voice. And what really came to my attention is bullying. Because yeah. even though it's a reality show. They do that. And then they yes. claim bullying. I hate right. that. It's the and, worst shit about our generation. Because yes. I ain't going to say them because we in it too. Yeah. Motherfuckers will fuck with you all day. Like yeah. niggas will be like, nigga, yo, I lazy. Motherfucker, I know. Yeah. Bitch, yeah, I and know it. I know it. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. It's my and when you, to if that. you say something to, like if you say something outside of what they like, oh, this nigga, da, 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 they start bullying you and then. Called me the bully, didn't yeah. you? Like right. one, I, you know what I'm saying? You like, the first fight. You the bro, things that, that I so wanted to stupid. do is bring awareness to bullying because even though I was on a show and we all grown and, and as grown women, they still do that today. I'm like, I feel sorry for kids that's going through this because I'm a strong woman right. and I can handle it. But to have all these girls come together and attack me and like I said, Spice don't know me and just because she's friends with Carl, she trying to fight me like all this and Tokyo and all these girls. Like, I'm like, this is crazy. Thank God I can handle it and I'm a strong woman because if I wasn't, shoot, I'd probably go in a corner and be ready to commit suicide or some crazy stuff too. So I most definitely want to bring bullying awareness. So I want everybody to go to stopbullying.gov and support, you know what I'm saying? Stop, stop bullying. Stop bullying. Stop bullying. Dot gov. Dot gov. Pimping with a cause. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's one of the Pimping things. Pimping with a cause. Because it was it was most definitely a lot of bullying going. When three and four, five people gang up on one person, that that's bullying. Crazy. But that's kind of the franchise. Yeah, that is the is whole it, framework. It, that, that is, is the, the whole that's construct the of the show. That's yeah. the is it that I didn't well maybe it's, I never really watched it But I'm watched saying it, it like evolved that. to that, right? It wasn't always it was three, four, really, five girls gang up on one. Girl. It evolved to that. Originally, it was Jim Jones and Chrissy right. running around living their best life, friends, having lunch and kicking it. Well, that's what I thought messy. I was gonna do. It got messy. <laughs> so, that's, that's what I thought I was gonna do. But me, if, if it was me and I had a friend that had a problem with somebody, the way I can hunt, hand, the way I would handle it. I'm a lot of mature than the girls that's on the show and look older or whatever. But the way I would handle it, I would give her advice, girl. Handle it like this. Say this to her if she comes to you and say something or whatever. I'm not going to be trying to fight this girl and, and I don't even know her. I don't have an issue with her. Because right. who knows, if you get to meet somebody on your own and get to know, y'all might be the best of friends. Right. Y'all might have something in common or might have something going on. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, I just hate that. Grown women do that today, and me being on this show has brought that awareness. And then we're to so me. much more than that. Like it's so, so much, much so more many black women doing some, some amazing stuff. We all should come together and, and be friends. Know, and y'all be see great. that sketch show coming out? Y'all see that sketch yeah, show? That that guy, Angela Bassett. Amazing. Oh, it's a new sketch show coming out. It's called it? Easter Ray Black Lady Sketch Show. It's called Black Lady Sketch Show, and it's hilarious. What? It's on HBO. It's I. She's not a part of the. Main cast, but there's I think there's four or five core characters, and then yeah. they're bringing in cameos of a bunch Couple of big people stars. From, uh, from, uh, what's that? Insecure. So that was that's that's pretty. Yeah, dope. It's just gonna be and amazing. another thing I want to bring awareness to. I'm pro women. I want like I want to know what y'all think about women not being able to have abortion. Like, was yeah, y'all that's down for that? That's that's pro women rights. That's I want yeah. to. Pro women rights. How can old yeah. white men tell black women and white women and brown women and white crazy. women to yeah, what to do with their bodies? That's ridiculous. stupid shit. Okay, so we all on the same page, period, right? Y'all period. think that's wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you too, right? We are voting for that. So we most definitely, like, I'm so proud of my black men. Y'all sticking with us and we all coming together, you know, as a yeah. community and sticking with this cause because I, th- I think it's wrong because if a woman get, you know, raped by somebody and she got to have a baby or you know she's not able to afford to take care of the baby. She got to have it anyway. So really, this baby is gonna grow up to be a. They might as well uh, build more prisons and more jobs because if you if you young and you get pregnant, just think what you can have a baby at 12 years old. As soon as you start your menstrual. So if you have a baby at a young age, you don't know. You're not old enough to teach that baby right from wrong. You can't take care of that baby financially. So how you think that child is gonna grow up? Not grew up right, uneducated. And going to end up in the system because the mother ain't even right to teach the kid right from wrong. She's a child herself. So, like I said, you could, they might as well build more prisons. Like, like, that's crazy. But that's one of the things I want to tap into. So that's why I said I'm glad at, at the end of the day, I know Love and Hip Hop made me look shady or whatever, whatever. But I'm glad it gave me a voice to tap on a lot of things right, that I could, right, you know, right. bring awareness to. I appreciate and I appreciate up, y'all for having me. And I just want to say thank you very much. Hey, Miss Pooh, everybody. Miss Pooh.
the one and only, the, one the only Miss Pooh. The, the, the only Miss Pooh on Instagram. Yes, uh, and you yes. can find me at the only Miss Pooh. It's T H E O N L Y M S P O O H. The only Miss Pooh on Instagram. And get my ladybug lashes and mm. my FaceTime makeup and my lip plumper. And she does have a bikini <laughs> on, on there, too. So. Yes, and I'm coming out with a book called The Truth Hurts, and I'm coming out with a fan line. Usually I have my fan, but I guess the, the glasses threw me off. But, yeah, a fan line. So y'all girls, when y'all hot in the summer, y'all can fan off or fan Shit, off I'm in church a fan or myself. whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so fan much for y'all yeah, love and support. I'm like an old, old white man tycoon, the <laughs> southern tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that Thank time, brother? Yeah, Is man. We, uh, <laughs> we like to end the show with a segment that I call Secret Genius Life Coach, where I give the people some words of wisdom to get through the week, get to the next, uh, get to the next episode, rather. I am Kamal the Secret Genius, and the words of the week are this. All the lanes on the highway go the same direction. You know, everybody got the options for the same exits. But you don't have to take the highway. There's other routes to get everywhere. Mm. Life is the same way, man. Those, those, those plea print, those plea pre-planned cookie cutter lifestyles get crowded. Sometimes you have to step outside the box and look for another route to get where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Every 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 lane in the highway goes the same direction, man. You don't got to take the highway though. That's that's all I got. Touch. Man, that's a, I know, that's the favorite long. part of the the yeah, show, which is you know you yeah. end with something nice. Something on a positive note with Miss Pooh, nice. with Pimp and Pooh. It's always something for me. I feel like it's for me every uh, time. Just for me. <laughs> so I done broke it down to y'all from A to Z. Hey, man. It was a lot of oh, we gotta get, cleansing. We, we got to get part two going now. Yeah, oh, because there's ASAP. a lot of things I can't reveal because they still, uh, I can't tell about the show. Oh, you're you know, getting your own right folder on the hard drive. We're going to make a terabyte out of files. The Who Files. That might be the that, shit that right there. The, oh, that's the, a good name. The Who Files? The Who Files. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Because no, somebody go click on the poop file. Here it is. Like, what the fuck is the poop file? Pimp and poop. <laughs> Pimp and poop file. I'm sitting that shit. You down here to call me a fat goddamn. I just saw diamonds flickering in the air like that. Just dropping diamonds all through the sky. Give me a little pup, nigga. If you're listening, you can get some money later. More than culture is the brand. It's the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Ronnie Jordan, Tyler Chronicles with Mom Dukes. Special guests. Miss Pooh, we out. <laughs> <laughs>